Welcome to the Teradata AI Unlimited deployment to query demonstration. Teradata AI Unlimited enables you to unleash the power of an on-demand AI ML engine in the cloud. AI Unlimited is designed to empower data engineers, data scientists, and developers to explore and experiment at scale without affecting production environment. AI Unlimited offers a self-service experience that lets users discover new innovations and use cases without worrying about resource availability or cost overruns. In this video, we will demonstrate the simple steps for a user to go from deployment of an AI Unlimited instance to the first query in only a few minutes. The initial one-time configuration of the AI Unlimited environment is completed using Teradata Workspaces, GitHub, or GitLab for user management and metadata storage, and finally, a Jupyter Notebook with Teradata modules. After completing the one-time setup of the Workspace service, you are ready to configure the Jupyter Workspace and start a new AI Unlimited project. To set up the Jupyter Workspace, provide the host IP address of the Workspace service and your API key. If you decide to use TLS, specify TLS equals true. You can find your API key on the configuration screen for the Teradata Workspace service. To create a project, provide the name of the project and the cloud environment you're going to use, AWS, Azure, or G Cloud for Google Cloud. Once the project is created, it will appear in the project list. The Create Project function creates the infrastructure for the project and the GitHub repository under your user, which you previously specified in the Workspace Services configuration. The repository stores all of the information schema for the project, and if you want to add more users, you can go to GitHub or GitLab, click on the repo, and add collaborators to this project repository. To use shared authorization, create an authorization object with a name, project key and secret, or key, secret, and token. In AWS, you can use the external ID and assume role. Once the authorization is created, you can list all authorizations as a user. You will only see the first six characters when listing authorizations. To deploy the engine, use the project engine deploy command and specify the name of the project and the size of the node. You can choose small, medium, large, or extra large. By default, you get one node. If you want more than one node, provide node equals number of nodes. The deployment takes 7 to 10 minutes. After deployment, you will get the IP address of the system and the username derived from GitHub and also a randomly generated password. If you have invited more collaborators, you would see more names like users and passwords. To list users attached to this engine, Use the command percent project engine list users. If you're in Jupyter, you can go to the connection manager where we automatically create connections so you don't have to remember the public IP or private IP as the connection is automatically created. To connect to the engine, use the command percent connect and the name of the project. If you're using a private address, use the project name underscore private. Once you connect, Provide the password and you can start executing standard SQL commands. For this demo, we are going to create a foreign table by defining the table and attaching this definition to the object store folder containing the Parquet datasets. Once the table is created, you can query the data. I can now do a simple select count of the table, which will return a count of more than 300 million rows. We are not querying the table inside a database. Rather, we are querying a table definition which is talking to the object store using NOS read of a Parquet format. This was a simple example, but you can now run any query you want using whatever function you want. Once you're finished with your queries, you can suspend the system. To suspend the system, you execute the project engine suspend command with the applicable project name. When you suspend the system, we destroy the infrastructure created on AWS or Azure to avoid any further charges. But all of the object definitions are stored in GitHub. When you create objects in AI Unlimited, we back up those definitions into GitHub. The next time you deploy the engine for this project, we will restore those objects into the database. 
We create the databases, users, and authorizations. We restore the objects and a schema SQL file if it exists in GitHub. This gives you a feeling of continuation so that when you provision a new system, you can continue as though you never left. The next day, you just press deploy command and that will automatically restore the definitions back to the system. Thank you for watching this demonstration of AI Unlimited. AI Unlimited is available now in private preview on Azure and AWS. If you're interested in the private preview program or just want to learn more about AI Unlimited, please contact Teradata using the provided URL or QR code.